just when you're not expecting it, potentially one of the most anticipated Copilot features just appears out of nowhere. That seems to be the case with what's just been added to Teams, a feature that so many people have mentioned they're waiting for, and one that, so far as I can see, has just arrived with absolutely no fanfare from Microsoft. In my tenants at least, if you're using the Teams app on Windows and you have a Microsoft 365 Copilot license in targeted release, you can now customise your Teams meeting summaries with AI prompts. Let's take a brief look at this new feature I'm sure many of you will be really excited to try out. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Nick. I help smaller businesses to achieve more using AI, and I specialize in Microsoft 365 Copilot and the AI tools that are part of Microsoft's platform. If what you see in this video is useful to you, it'd be great if you could give it a like, drop a comment below letting me know what helped you the most, and consider subscribing so you can see more like this in the future. And if you need more direct help with your organization's Copilot adoption or other AI project, consider reaching out to learn how I can help. Information on this is down in the description. It's unusual for a feature to just arrive, but unless I've just completely missed it, this one that appears to be in Teams Preview just dropped with no notification whatsoever. I can't find anything mentioning it in the message center or on the roadmap or in any tech community blogs. I must just be missing it, right? If you know where to look, drop me a note down in the comments. But it's certainly a feature I've heard a lot of people mention they would like to see in Teams. If you have Microsoft 365 Copilot or Teams Premium, then you'll be familiar with the access you get to Intelligent Recap at the end of your Teams meetings, so long as they're in your tenant and they're recorded or transcribed. You can access Intelligent Recap in a number of ways. Head to the chat for the meeting, you'll find it there, or looking at your calendar in Teams or in Outlook. The first time you access a recap with this new feature available, you'll see this invitation to try the custom summary feature. But going forward after you've tried it, it'll look more like this. There are three inbuilt Microsoft template options. Speaker summary, which seems to break down the content by speaker. Executive report, which condenses the meeting content into key updates and overview. And project update, which groups the information by context, issues and risks, accomplishments, follow-up tasks and other updates. The first time you run any of these options, it takes a moment to appear. But after you've done that, you've just select between them, as you see here. There's also the option to create custom summaries. Now, it's a shame that under the custom summary option, Microsoft doesn't provide the prompts of its inbuilt summaries as options to start from, in the same way it provides agent templates in Microsoft 365 Copilot Agent Builder. In this case, the example template that appears when you create a new one just groups by headings. And if you press preview, it will generate an example using that template based on the meeting you're currently in. Theoretically, you can add your own prompts here, and I've tried out some different types to see what I could do. I'm not advocating any of these simple single line instructions for a real custom summary, but it gives us some idea of the type of text we can include in our prompts here. Asking it to organize a meeting summary by time period, it did it, but not consistently. In this case, it got it right, but I've also seen examples of it lengthening or shortening a meeting. It could create a communication style analysis and suggestions for best communication approaches, which I know is something a lot of people do routinely post-meeting in Teams. It can also give feedback on meeting clarity. There are lots of different approaches a user might want to take in analysing this content that is more specific than what we see in the default AI summary. Once you're happy with your template, you can give it a name, save it, and it'll appear in the list of available custom summary templates. So far as I can tell, the custom summaries are a per user output, whereas the main AI summary is a main meeting output, meaning that all users with access to the primary AI summary will see exactly the same content. You have your own templates and that content is yours, just like most communications with Copilot. We also now have the ability to share the AI summary to email if there are external users in the meeting. However, even if you have a custom summary open while selecting this option in Teams, the shared summary is the default one. You can copy the custom summary outputs and save or share them directly though. It would be nice to see if you could select which AI insights you wanted to share though. As for users without premium features, they still don't get the view of the AI summary, nor these new capabilities. 
AI summary will be available to Teams Premium, but custom summaries seem only available to Microsoft 365 Copilot. These features follow the user rather than the organizer, as many AI features in meetings do. Something to note here though, is that the reality is that this is just a shortcut to something you could already do extremely easily using Copilot Chat. It will happily look at your meetings and generate summaries in any way you please. And frankly, I find as a Copilot user, I look at the meeting recap screen in Teams less and less, given that I'm already in Copilot for other things. With the recap, if you're starting from the calendar, it makes sense that these kind of templates are easy to find. But you could do the same thing with saved prompts in Copilot Chat. I think the thing that would really tip this over the edge is to simply allow you to access saved prompts from Copilot Chat in the contextual Copilot Chat for Teams meeting recaps that would enable you to use the same prompt in both cases to get similar outputs. Overall, I know a lot of people who will be really excited for this feature's arrival, and it seems like a solid set of capabilities. There are a couple of things that are unclear though. First, we don't know what models this is using, but I assume GPT-4. That means that right now with GPT-5 in chat only, you might actually be better off using the workflow I described a moment ago to focus on getting insights from the smarter model. Second. We don't know what model this is using, or really anything else about this feature, as at time of recording at least, there appears to be no information or documentation. I love seeing new features arrive, particularly ones that users are going to love as much as this one, and I apologise if I just missed it, but we really need to ensure that anything that changes the app experience, even for those using preview features, comes with at least some explanation. Will you be using this new feature? Let me know how excited you are about it down in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.